Hello, governor. Paddington. So Paddington is based off the Paddington Bears, a series of children's novels that I never actually read. The plot of this movie is the little bear that grew up in Peru. He was raised by his aunt and uncle who really loved marmalade. And something happens that causes Paddington to leave them and to go off into London and explore the big city. He moves in with this one family that's kind of in a rut right now. And then, you know, having Paddington in their lives kind of changes them and makes them better people. It's kind of like Mary Poppins, actually. But yeah, it's a pretty by-the-numbers children's movie story. And this movie was getting mad praise by critics, so I went into this movie and I was like, okay, is, it's, is it good? It didn't look good, I can tell you that much. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with Paddington. I was surprised at how much I liked this movie. The cast is pretty good in this movie. In any British movie that's released in America, you're guaranteed a couple of actors. There's a couple people from Harry Potter, a couple people from James Bond, a doctor from Doctor Who. Pretty much any British movie that has a US release will have those people in it. Either them or Michael Caine. The family was really good. I was able to buy into the fact that they were housing this little CGI bear. Just the way that they interacted with him, they just kind of... It's hard to explain, but it worked well for the movie. They were just kind of like, yeah, we recognize that this is kind of weird, but it is what it is, and we're just gonna roll with it. And Paddington wasn't a jerk either. He stayed true to the original source material from what I can tell. Again, I never read the Paddington books as a kid, but... I know a little bit about the character. I can tell you that those Alvin and the Chipmunks movies did not stay true to the characters. There's also a lot of humor in this movie. Humor that you think would usually fall flat, but the actors are able to deliver it in a way that doesn't make it sound terrible, so that's always a plus. I think if you go to see this movie, whether you're a kid or an adult, you'll have a good time with this movie. The only real problem I had with it was Nicole Kidman's character. She's like this taxidermist who wants to stuff Paddington and she wasn't horrible in the movie or anything I just feel like she wasn't completely necessary like yeah her character does come into play near the end of the movie but I just feel like if you took her out of the movie you still could have had a really good movie about Paddington getting used to London and getting used to living with this family Paddington was a really fun movie I think if I was I don't I don't babysit but if some parent put me in charge of babysitting their kids this is probably the movie that I would want to show them I'm gonna give Paddington a B plus you know it's not overly amazing. It's not the next Lion King by any means. But I had a lot of fun with this movie, and if I was given the choice to watch it again, I probably would. So Paddington, have any of you guys seen it? What did you guys think of the movie? Comment down below with your thoughts on this movie. And thanks for watching this video. If you guys like it, click subscribe, check out more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.